हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल In this video I am sharing a interesting case with a postpolar cat tract and there was a pre-existing PC dehiscence which can be seen on this uh, OCT and you can see that uh, the posterior capsule is already dehiscent in the central part so there is a risk of nucleus drop if we don't take all the precautions you can also see those opacities in the anterior vitreous there behind the posterior capsule which indicates that from that uh, dehiscent PC there is always some leakage of uh, lens matter into the antivitreous. So the plan here is to do a low IOP FECO and that's the area where you can also see the dehiscent capsule and uh, already ready to extend. So the plan here is to keep the capsule axis around 4.8 to 5 millimeter and this helps in doing optic capture later if needed which I could complete uh, so I use the marker of the Callisto but you can use also the manual marker over the cornea and I am using a iris repositor to do mechanical dissection basically we are separating the anterior capsule from the peripheral cortex here and that also gives kind of a cleavage plane and when we do FACO little bit of fluid passes through it very gently and you get separation of the cortex little bit now here I am doing hydrodelineation so carefully going into the substance of the nucleus now all throughout you have to make sure that the anterior chamber doesn't deepen as well as shallow during the procedure even during hydrodelineation you have to make sure you don't inject too much of fluid into the nucleus now I want to show here is that I am going to keep only 30 mm of Hg IOP throughout the procedure so I am using centurion system here where I can control the IOP now the nucleus part is not very difficult it's a softer cataract though patient is around 45 year old there is not much of nucleus crosses so I did uh, four quadrants the sideways trenching method that I have described for postripolar cataract and then just pull the this central very soft nucleus inside and uh, aspirated it now there is a big chunk of epinucleus which is right there behind and this is the most important step OVD BSS exchange so you start injecting the OVD from the side port stop the irrigation let the OVD fill the anterior chamber and then remove the probe that's how it has to be done even for IA I'm going to use 30 pressure there and uh, I am used to the coaxial IA it also maintains the anterior chamber better so I'm sticking to that at this point bimanual is better in these cases for the sub cortex now what I am he doing here is trying to pull the cortex from the periphery so that it dislodges the epinucleus as well along with now there is always a difficulty in removing this epinucleus so visco dissection helps in these cases so I am using 1% hyalurate there going just as we do hydro dissection but instead of BSS I am using the hyalurate to dissect out this epinucleus so remember here already the posterior capsule is open behind so the moment I am going to dislodge that central plaque we know that the antivitreous is going to be exposed so the antihyloid will be there and we want to avoid rupture of this antihyloid that's something what I am looking for or that is my objective here 
Now here I found that the IP nucleus is already detached from the PC and uh, with the IA I am not able to remove it completely so I thought that let me try to visco dissect it further and uh, try to bring it up little anteriorly there so here I am using methyl cellulose you can see the bigger cannula I am using and the idea here is to inject little bit of OVD behind this epinucleus so that uh, we can prolapse it into the anterior chamber I have to be watchful here because uh, the PC is already open and now I decided that I will rather go with a phaco probe which, which has a wider bore I am not going to use any phaco just aspiration and the epinucleus is already in the anterior chamber here so I am going to just go near that and start aspirating very carefully in a very gradual manner so this reduces the time because if I use coaxial IA probe or bimanual it will take little bit of time but uh, the concern of course will be not to use any phaco energy at this point because we don't need to catch the PC probably using a IA itself might be a better idea here might take little longer time but maybe safer for the PC but here I was little bit confident of my control over the phaco probe so I decided to take that now you can see that the half of the epinucleus is out and in the sub incisional area there is still some epinucleus and now you can clearly see the PC tear there which was pre-existing and I am going to dislodge this sub incisional epinucleus using Sinsky and then carefully with use of visco I have taken it out now while doing that you could see that the tear probably extended little bit because I pressurized the chamber while removing this uh, epinucleus matter using visco so I need to be very very careful and very gentle here so I decided instead of visco I am going to do dry aspiration again here I have to be careful not to make the AC shallow so there is always a play between inflow and outflow all throughout during this surgery and here because the PC tear has not extended till the periphery I decided that I will place the aisle in the bag and rotate the haptics perpendicular to the area where the direction of the PC tear is going luckily it's not a toric aisle so I can place it perpendicular to the existing PC tear there and most important thing here is to dial them very very carefully into the bag and not to dial them when the IOL is inside the bag you should dial the haptics from anterior capsule into the bag very carefully as I showed and do not use uh, gravity based or even active fluidics to wash out the visco because the anti halide may break so this is what I do generally I just wash out the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber as far as possible it takes 2-3 minutes to wash off most of the viscoelastic here if little bit remains I will control the IOP no problem but it avoids the extension of PC so that's the nice outcome and patient is extremely happy thank you